So who's ready for some Cell Saga figure arts? Because Tamashi just dropped some official photos of Imperfect Cell, which has been teased for several months now. I'm not too sure which event uh, we first saw this, uh, but I think it must have been uh, at last year's uh, San Diego Comic-Con. But finally, we get an official look at this monster of a figure along with an official release date of August 2022, uh, with more details about the pricing and accessories at the end of this month. At the moment, from what I can tell from the images Tamashi has given us, uh, it does look like we will be getting a couple of hand options, uh, including a set of Kamehameha hands and an extra head uh, with an open mouth or open beak. There doesn't seem to be any other official pictures of any other accessories, uh, but I don't think it would be totally out there to assume that the empty husk from Cocoon Cell could be included. Uh, this was the only other imperfect accessory we've seen so far uh, since the figure's reveal. But I am still holding my breath for an Android 17 absorbing tail attachment. The details on Imperfect Cell are looking quite impressive as well, with all these spots being molded in, uh, like the Perfect Cell release, even the hinge joints uh, in his arms, knees, shoulders, and ankles uh, have sculpted detail in them as well. The colors look, uh, to me, a lot more vibrant than they did with the prototype, and that might be because of, you know, Photoshop, but I do like the contrast. Something about the oranges and blues just pops a little bit more, it's more saturated and you can even see that the orange areas have some shading, uh, which you know we don't see too often these days in this line. If this is indeed a production model, I'm really liking the color work and finish here. I think I prefer the more saturated colors and the main body looks like it will have a nice matte finish with the black areas in his chest and head being a glossy black. This is the first time we get a good look at Imperfect Cell's back and like Perfect Cell, uh, the wings are on hinges with the tail being quite long, uh, having three joints connecting the separate tail pieces. From the back here, Imperfect Cell does look a little bit shorter than he did in the anime, which might be a complaint for some. And in the past with Perfect Cell, I've always felt that that figure was, you know, just a little bit too short. So let's hope this release will be at least taller than Piccolo. Anyway, Imperfect Cell is shaping up to be a really impressive looking release and probably one I'm most excited for this year. Again, I'm not sure what else Tamashi has in store for us for the uh, next half of 2022, but if Imperfect Cell is just a taste of things to come, uh, I think Tamashi will have some pretty exciting stuff down the pipeline for us collectors. He is hoping for a new Future Trunks 2.0 and the rest of the Z Fighters, of course, from this arc. And not to forget the Dr. Jiro that was teased with Imperfect Cell, which will hopefully be announced later this year. Imperfect Cell again is set for an August release. And though it hasn't been officially announced, I do think Cell will be another web exclusive, unfortunately. Uh, he is to hoping that I'm wrong, but uh, I think we'll find out pretty soon. If you want to see the official images of Cell yourself, I'll leave the links in the description or head over to the official Dragon Ball Games Battle Hours 2022 website. Anyway, just wanted to drop in with this bit of exciting news, but uh, yeah, let me know what you think of this release. What's your favorite arc or saga in Dragon Ball? And I guess which form of Cell uh, do you like the most? All right, guys, I'm out of here, but don't forget Zarbon Review should be dropping sometime next week, so do look out for that. Until then, take good care of yourselves, be safe, keep healthy, and as always, Yoroshiku!